As I live in the Pacific Northwest, getting an early indoor start for many of my plants is crucial to maximizing the growing season. As such, I've been experimenting with various supplemental lighting options for starting my seeds early indoors and giving them that important head start. Last year, I conducted a trial to compare a standard 5000K LED light bulb versus one of the full spectrum ones. And while it was a fairly illuminating experience, I find that with gardening, a lot of things that you learn just lead to new questions. Such was the case for me following that first trial. In this video, I hope to revisit and expand that experiment to better understand what works best for starting seedlings, both for your plants and for your wallet. This time around, I will be comparing three bulbs commonly available from your local hardware store. All bulbs are LEDs with the same 800 lumen output. There's a 3000K, a 5000K, and the full spectrum one. Our test plants this time around are going to be habanero peppers. In order to maximize the full benefit of each bulb, I'm only going to place one plant under each light. I'll also have a fourth control plant that I'll place near our brightest window so that I can compare against that. The lights are on an automatic timer set to run for 16 hours each day. Everything else from soil to watering is going to be identical for each plant. Up next, I'll showcase how each one progressed over the following eight week period. The marketing behind full spectrum lights is that they are going to provide all the necessary light wavelengths a plant is going to need through its life cycle. And it's certainly true that a plant's needs are going to vary from sprouting to root development to fruiting, and that those different wavelengths of light are going to support those different functions differently. However, such coverage might be overkill for my use case of just wanting to give my plants a bit of a head start before moving them outdoors. The plant under the 5000K bulb certainly seems to have done the best. It got the largest earliest versus the other ones. 5000K bulbs tend to be one of the most easy and cheaply available ones around, so that's great for other frugal gardeners like myself. Near the end of the experiment, it looks like other plants were starting to catch up in size to the 5000K plant. It could have been due to that plant just getting too big for its light sourcing container and slowing down. There's the possibility the other ones went through a later growth spurt, although I'd say that's far less likely. As always, it looks like a new avenue to explore in the future. An important consideration is that these bulbs with my upcycled lamp system will only ever be appropriate for starting young seedlings. One would need to have a larger and brighter setup if the intention was to keep them indoors longer during their growth cycle. For my current needs, this basic system works just fine. You may also have noticed that near the end of the experiment, the leaves were starting to turn yellow on a few of the plants. This was another hint to me that we were at that point of outgrowing the light source and container. The final point is that none of these plants really did poorly. Sure, the 5000K bulb outperformed the others, but come time to put them in the ground, would that extra margin have really made any measurable difference in the end? 
Would you have seen more fruit or better quality? I unfortunately won't get to find this answer out this time around, as my trial ran into autumn with the intention of overwintering them for a head start this spring. However, when all is said and done, I'd be rather doubtful that you would see any dramatic differences. The main thing I'd like you to take away is that you probably don't need to go out and buy anything new or expensive in order to see success here. I hope this video has shed some more light on this situation. Let me know in the comments down below what kind of luck you've had starting your seedlings with supplemental light. Until next time, happy gardening!